Welcome to the Redemption Podcast Show. I'm U.S. Army veteran and poetic human, John Krotek. And I am a former professional fighter, the champion soul, Jason Freebird Freeman. In a sincere effort to help others and to set some records straight, we share our personal stories and scripture and offer real solutions to overcoming the challenges of life. We appreciate you being here. And remember, the truth shall set you free. I had to make a choice, and I, and I even talked to you, Mom. I talked to you and the other two women in my life, which is my mother-in-law and my wife. And if you guys didn't give me the okay, I would have stayed right where I was at. Who's Michael you know Bruner? Who is Michael Bruner for people that don't know, Sean? Who is he? Okay. That's Mary Bruner's son. He, she was in the family with uh, Charles when they actually lived at Spawn Ranch and stuff. Okay, she, so is he a son of, of Charles? or? Yes, he, 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 he's a... Uh, now, I don't know for a fact, but he says he is. And they said, <clears throat> Mary Bruner said that um, Charles was his dad. And that is why that Daniel, and I don't know his last name, the guy that just came in about a year ago, Daniel, he got on um, Ancestry.com and put his uh, DNA. And the hit was between him and Michael Bruner. So he's the saying people. that mm. Charles is his dad. And what I don't understand is Michael Bruner he believes him. He doesn't say to him, you should be ashamed of yourself. So the thing is, it's like, we don't know. We don't know for a fact, but if he is, he is. And uh, it's like, so it's easier to believe that my, that Daniel's mother had a one night stand with Charles and had him. But I lived with Jay, knew his family, you know, knew them people and you know, and that one's hard to believe. Yeah, that's that's there's so. Yeah, it, it's just it's mind boggling to me because you have to use critical thinking here and you have to use logic and you have to use reason and you have to use some common sense. And so if I'm talking to Sean Moreland and Sean Moreland's living with a guy who is the son of Charles Manson and she's seeing nobody else and she has a baby, chances are that baby is related to Charles Manson Sr. I mean, that, that's just that's just common sense, like you just said. I know. And, and then it's, it happens. One night stands happen and women get pregnant. Yeah. But, yeah. But, 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 but the chances of that happening, the, 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 the percentage or the probability is much lower than if right. you're living with somebody and you're actively engaged in and being with them <clears throat> right right so you're right sean it makes more sense that jason is who he says he is coming from his mother than somebody who may have been so whacked out maybe slept with more than one person who knows we're not here to judge people's character again if they're clamoring for dna where's their dna mm -hmm. yeah that's what i was that's what i was curious about it's like where's michael bruner's why don't you if if you're going to step up to the plate step up with something loud and be proud about it or don't stand up at all uh, i stood up with my with my backing with my court documentation that that's been there for years you know my father once he passed away my family received uh social security uh until i until i graduated and and then uh scientifically the the DNA shows the bloodline, and um, so this is my information uh, out to anybody that that's ever wondered. Um, this is how we come up with who I am and where I'm at today. I mean, it's pretty simple. It yeah, is. It's, yeah, it's so it's so much. It's it's just common sense, and that's the Jason was telling me not long ago that there's all kinds of people that have claimed to be related somehow to Charles Manson. And I don't know. I, I just know that the truth is the truth. 
And there's no doubt in my mind, Sean, that you are who you say you are, right? Because of court documentation. You didn't pick Jason up at the at the foster home. You know, you yeah. gave birth to him. And 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 it, it's who he says he is. I mean, so why all the why all the hate? Why all the why all the questioning and finger pointing is just what I don't understand. I don't either. I, I don't understand it. And, and but like you said, it could be money. You know, uh, people make money off of uh, off of Charles. And if when Jason, you know, if he ever does win that estate or whatever, and if he puts the hammer down, they're not going to be making money off the poor man anymore. A lot of people have to kind of deal with a lot of different things uh, throughout this case. And to sit back and watch this stuff still be on the news and still be blown up as big as it is. Yeah. I mean, I was brought on an interview and I didn't really realize that uh, they were going to oh open up with with the horror story of, of my grandfather and then open the mic up right to me I, I mean my eyes were my eyes were in shock you know um i i'm not oh. i'm not here to live through my grandfather's twos i'm here to stand up and and let the world see who who i am and that you know god lives through a man like me okay. he can live through anybody you know and that's well said that's you know, all we're trying to do, people don't like to be lied to. You know, I've done the research on that. And all we're trying to do is get to the truth because we've been told, and I'm sure, Sean, you heard this probably a million times. Jason and I say it all the time that the truth shall set you free. So there's no reason to finger point and to be all hateful. We just want to get to the truth. Yeah. And and and, and you've explained exactly reality, you know, if, so the DNA shows it, the paperwork shows it, and even if they showed it down to the chromosome, that Jason <laughs> is that guy, how's that going to change anything from from what's going on right now? How is it going to change? I don't know. This is so mind-boggling sometimes. I just wanted Jason, I just wanted to uh, put his um, mind to rest that he was who he was. Um, and plus, it's not even fun saying who you are, you know. But I think yeah. um, I think his grandfather, uh, over the years with Jason and his grandfather talking, Jason got through the grapevine somehow that um, Charles didn't want Jason involved in all this. And I think that, I think the, first time in Charles's life he cared about somebody I think he truly cared about Jason um and he knew what was going to come to Jason afterwards I think Charles knew what Jason was up against because Charles was up against it almost his whole adult well his whole adult life once he went to prison I think that Charles he knew and then and that's why I worry about Jason too I think I don't like it. I don't have that shit coming at me, but Jason does. And, uh, and it worries me. It, and it's, yeah, uh, you know, for his mental health and it's, and again, I just don't understand these people. I just don't understand why they need to put their two cents worth in. Well, you know, everybody wants to be approved and everybody wants to be somebody. To Jason shared with me a lot of stories and I, I've been I've been able to listen to some recordings that aren't even out there of of Jason's grandfather and, and Oh, okay. Like you said, he cared about somebody. I you know I listened to some of the things he heart. said on some yeah, of his he had tapes. A huge and, heart. He and and he really did. You know, it was it was a rough time in the sixties for a lot of people. There were a lot yeah. of things going on. We were Vietnam and the psychedelic stuff was happening. And, and I, yeah. my, my personal opinion, of course, it's opinion and everybody's got one. I just, my thought on it is because I think Charles surrounded himself with some, some of the wrong people. I think he was out there, like you said before, Sean, just a, a, a petty criminal yeah. having, having fun in the sixties and surrounded himself with a lot of girls. Me and Jason talked about this too. And I said, you know, Jason, and I've told you, I think I've said this before. When them people went in that house mm. and committed that murder, to do them kind of murders, it's already in you. 
you didn't just walk in and assassinate somebody. You didn't just walk in and shoot somebody. You walked in and actually tortured them people. Uh, and, and, and you know what, Sean? That's a good point. And, I, and I'll tell you why. Because I could say, hey, Jason, go kill this guy. I don't like him. Go kill him. We're going to start this revolution. If Jason had that in him, he might go do it. But it's still a choice. And, yeah. and, he, and he didn't go and do that because I told him to do it. I, I, mean, I know. That's the part. You know, and I don't want to get anybody bent out of shape that's listening to this uh, conversation. Well, they will. But you think he's innocent? What? <laughs> I, I all I know is I, you know human nature, and you and 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 again I'll back that up. That's a valid point. You're 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 a psychopathic maniac to do that long before oh, somebody yeah. somebody puts that idea in your head. Yeah, that's a fantasy that you've had dwelling for a while. Well, they talk about Charles Manson and write all these books, but the thing is, he it is not just Charles Manson. We're talking about people that ruthlessly murdered people. And uh, that Tex Watson, really? He's the one that went in there with him. And, uh, but we don't write books about him and talk about him all the time. <laughs> and, and, and Charles, he probably just went with it. You know, it's like, I told Jason. I mean, I have to laugh. I don't know why I'm like about this, this about Charles Manson, but when he did that, when he did that one um, uh, interview, and he was rubbing his beard, and I'm not sure exactly what he said, but I'm just going to say this: so maybe I should have killed about 500 of you. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of things he would say, and people were like, "Oh my God." You know, good thing he's in prison. He would have killed us all and all this stuff. And it's like, are you serious? Look you know, at it. Yeah. You know, Jason and I had one of our conversations not long ago. We took 10 of the things that Charles had said publicly. And what we did was we did a deep dive, Sean. <laughs> the newspaper or the interviewer took just the pieces out of the conversation that, 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 that sensationalized this homicidal, crazy maniac guy, right? Yeah. But, but but if you really listen to the whole interviews, you can actually see how they even manipulated that information to, to give it the appearance that that was the, the Charles Manson. I, I got to tell you straight up, I've heard these in, interviews and I've heard him on tape and he's there's a side to him that people don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Except he... the close people. J.J., another guy. I know, you know, J.J., J.J., shared with me a lot of things and had a relationship with Charles for 18 years. And I got to tell you, and Jason and I've talked about this, Sean, JJ really, like you just said that Charles cared about Jason, mm -hmm. JJ really cared about Charles Manson. All he wanted, he told me was, was a, a, an autograph at first. Mm -hmm. That's he first started, yeah. And then as he started to get into this and mm -hmm. some of the things that JJ shared with me, JJ was a real advocate for Charles. You know that they talked a lot. They like Jason talked a lot with him, and 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 those are the things that are in the backstory. But people, once they have my side bias, you know, I think what I think, and there's nothing that's going to change the way I think. Yeah, it's hard to get anybody to be open minded because oh, they yeah. because they want to be right. They don't want to be wrong, they, and they can't. Lord forbid that yeah. they're humble. And well, say, you know what? Yeah. yeah, and you said it, John. Who can be humble? Uh, um, it's hard. It's hard for all of us at times. But what's what's nice about this interview is that uh, we're given in depth information, in depth, uh, um, you know, kind of behind the scenes stuff that uh, we don't talk about publicly and we don't share with people. But but we're willing to open up and, and um, give the people um, out there in the world um, solid evidence that, that they can actually run with and, and they can use for their knowledge now and create that wisdom on the inside to know where this path goes and, and, and be able to be more um, um, receptive toward accepting that um, there, there's more family out. I mean, there may be more family out there. We don't know. No, but 
do I do know I do know this that Jason's a handful, and so Sean, I got to give you a lot of credit <laughs> for hanging in there and putting up and towing the line and being the mother that you were because. I know for a fact that I was a handful for my mom. And if we didn't have moms like you two, who knows where we'd be. But listen, Jason, I'm going to piggyback off of what he just said. We all make mistakes. Yep. Every single person out there yep. has made a mistake. And my That's wife had to tie a knot in my tail so many times. Every time I'd get angry or mad or point a finger, she said, you know, Every time you point a finger, there's four of them pointing back at you. <laughs> yeah. So so all I say right now is just thank you for putting up with Jason. It's not easy on anybody. Yes. I and, feel sorry for his wife. Yeah, Audrey's a she's a champ. You know, but Four. that's what that's what I'm trying to say is she, that she flows with water. She 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 flows like water now because um I am a handful and if and if she wasn't able to just be there was Who no, she is. There, there'd be no way. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, thank, thank God for bringing us together because I, I am a handful and I, and I'm, and I'm uh stubborn, you know, like but he's come a said. long way, but you've come a long way. Jason. Yeah. yeah. You've come a long way. And I just, I just am grateful for you, Sean, um, to give us the time to be able to explain to us some of the stuff that's going on. And, and again, I would say to those people out there, be open-minded. Don't always be accusatory. You don't have to point fingers. And that's what Gosh. happens. You know, you know what's going on, Sean, these days? And I know you, you'll agree with me on this. Well, you might not. But but the, the, when people hear the truth nowadays, this is crazy. This is why the world is so messed up at times. They they do one of like four things. If, they, if the truth is out there, they'll either ridicule you. They'll get angry, right? Because you're, you're, you're speaking the truth. They'll censor you. Or they'll cancel you. And so we're living in a world right now that doesn't want to hear the truth. No, they don't. And and th they would rather believe the lie. And that's biblical, Jason. We know this. They would rather believe the lie and stay in that dark state of mind than hear the truth. I that know. can set them free. So what would you like to say, Sean, to... You know, we're getting towards the end of this, and this is going to actually be two episodes. But what would you like to say to to people that question your womanhood and being the mother of Jason? I don't know. I um, it's like if I, I guess if if you don't know me and you don't know my son, you don't know anything about us at all why would you even talk about us you know why would you what in your mind is telling you well i don't like these people and i know they're liars um it's like why does that even matter to you i i just don't get it and i don't think i ever will you know what is it about your life that's missing in your life that you got to worry about me and my son and what we're doing? My dad used to tell me, mind your own business. There you go. If you don't have a stake in it. Yeah, mind, there you go. It was that simple. And you know what? And that mind your own business thing has worked for centuries. When you yeah, just mind. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just mind your own yeah. business and don't worry mm -hmm. about it. It's like, well, it's, you it's don't, almost like. It's almost like we're in a small town because the internet is is so big. So now yeah. we're back into a small town mentality again, where we're just we're just always stirring well, up. Something's got to be the one thing I read time. after that Daniel, you know, come into the picture. The one thing I read because because Jason, I don't read the stuff like I don't get on none of this no, stuff, I, so no. I'm not that upset all the time. But um. The one thing I read after Daniel appeared was, um, I don't know if it was a news article or what it was. I was on the computer and they were saying, oh, yeah, Daniel come into the to the fray or whatever. And and he says, that's going to really throw basically paraphrasing. It's going to throw a wrench in what you're you're doing. And they were rooting for Daniel, but not you. And I'm like, why? 
what what about Jason is it you people don't yeah. like? <laughs> I think they they know they know deep down that you're right. You are who you are, and it just pisses them off. I it think pisses that's a- them off that you're there. Yeah, and, and you know that, and also my experience in my life is that people will start trouble with people that they think they can get to. Yeah, you know? and if you have yeah. a heart, if you really care, right? Yeah, and it's hard. I remember. Not to. I, I remember my brother telling me one time, like thirty-five years ago. He goes, "When you quit caring about what people think about you, you are going to rock." Yeah. The caring was is because we do have hearts. Yeah. And when you have a heart and somebody doesn't have a heart, when they point a finger at you and accuse you of something that you know is not true, normally you want to go above and beyond the call of duty to prove that that's not true. But I've seen a shift right. start to take place. Jason and I have talked about this. We starting to see a shift, Sean. We're starting to, you know what, that we don't really care because if you have the truth, it doesn't matter what people say. Yeah. They, they can throw pot shots at you all day long. And guess what? Remember, who's that guy that went to prison? Teflon Don, John Gotti. They call <laughs> yeah. him the Teflon Don. He, you think that guy cared about anything that those people said? And so we're just going to become a Teflon Don. Of course, we're not going to be organizing crime or anything. Yeah. But, but it doesn't really matter anymore because the truth is the truth. And you can say all you want, jump around all you want, but but you can't change the truth. I just don't understand why Jason couldn't bury his grandfather. Uh, but, and another thing is like, why is it taking all these years to even to even get Charles Manson's estate? It's like, what is there in the estate that everybody's so worried Jason's going to get? You know, it's like, is he Good gonna question. Be, you know, it's that's what I'd like to know. It's like, what what are what are you afraid of? And this guy that has this will, it's like, um, what are you going to do if, if the will's uh, found to be a f- fraudulent? People like people like him, they get they get what they deserve in the end. Karma is real, so it's all it it takes time, but it always comes back and bites them. Whatever you put into something, you're going to get back out of it. And what goes around comes around. All these things we were raised with. Yep. So it really always gets back to motive. You know, what are your motive? What is your motive? What are your mm. intentions? What, what do you? And Jason and I talk about this, Sean, all the time. We, we, we talk about integrity. And I'll yeah. be the first there, one there to say go. this. Well, I'll be the first one to say this. I'm not a saint. I've made some mistakes. There's been times in my life where I didn't do the right thing. Well, we all we all have done. But you maybe. get burned enough by not doing the right thing. The universe <clears throat> whacks you around long enough. You realize yeah. it might be a tougher decision to take the tough road, but it's always easier in the end. My wife yeah. tells me all the time. She's, I know when you're fibbing to me. Just tell me the truth. <laughs> and it, it make it a million times better on you if yeah. you just tell me the truth. Yeah. So. That's true. So we're telling the truth, and I have no doubt in my mind that Jason is your son. You've done the research, the lineage, and that Jason is the grandson of Jay White, who was Charles Manson son. Jr. So that, yeah, and that and that his grandfather was who he says he is. Otherwise, he wouldn't have the ashes sitting in his house right now. And Jason, any closing closing thoughts? Man, just. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, uh, Sean. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sean, Mom. Sean Freeman Moreland, for uh, <laughs> taking the time and chatting with us. Well, you... <laughs> hey, don't forget, I was married one time too. So, it's Sean Freeman Hoffman Moreland. There you go. See, she put you <laughs> in your place, boy. All right. <laughs> we got to make <laughs> sure we get that right but... in case somebody looks it up and says, "Oh, he lied." Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and our documentation didn't show this one. I know who my mom is. My mom knows where I came from. So I, I believe you 110%. So yeah, there you have it. Just remember this. Thank you for, for listening, all the people out there. But And Jason, I'll be seeing you. And Sean will be talking again, I'm sure. Okay. Um, I just uh, want to let people know. Jason, you say it first. Hmm. 
the truth shall set you set free. You free. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Redemption Podcast Show. We hope you got some wisdom out of it. Don't forget, the truth shall set you free.